guys, what are we going to look at? Well, we are going to look at something pretty incredible because I have got a whole lot of custom knives in this. It's a Todd Begg Astio in Cirque Timascus Titanium, and it's polished. So, yeah, you guys know what time it is. Turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music. As 2021 comes to an end, I, I was sitting around and I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, this has been the longest, 2021 has been the longest two years of my life. But when I think back on it and I look at the opportunities that I've had, this channel in particular, I have an opportunity, even though technically I can't go back to work, um, but I've had an opportunity to try and grow this channel. I've made some new friends through YouTube. And the fact is that I have had a lot of opportunities. And the fact is, God has blessed me in a fashion where I am able to bring things to people, even if it's a small audience compared to a lot of channels. God has allowed me an opportunity to bring you guys maybe 15 minutes of joy five days a week and a couple hours a week where we sit around and we hang out. And it's in turn, he's provided me with the ability to bring beautiful pieces of art to you guys. So in the theme of this, and it being Christmas time, I'm not going to pick one channel. I am going to put an entire list of channels down below that I would like you to go take a look at. I'm not saying you have to follow, but go take a look at them. Give them a chance. See what you like. They're channels that might be larger than mine, smaller than mine, but they're all a lot of fun. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So this is the Todd Begg Astio. And I can honestly tell you that this thing is effing incredible. So... We are going to take a little bit of time and flip this thing around and take a look at possibly one of the most gorgeous knives I've ever seen in my entire life. So let's take a look at it from above. Hey guys, there it is. There is the Todd Begg Astio. Now that we've got all that mushy crap out of the way at the beginning, let's get the specs out of the way on this. Now I will tell you this is a fingerprint magnet, so this is gonna get fingerprints on it. I have a wipey rag here. So what are we looking at? We are looking at a 3.5 inch mirror polished RWL 34 blade that's done in a recurved Tonto. You can see a hollow and a flat grind on this, and it is a gorgeously done blade. Uh, blade stock thickness on this is 0.15. Let's go ahead and measure that. Um, and you are looking at 0.1535-ish. Um, and then just for fun, let's get a behind the edge thickness on this. Um, right behind the edge, you are looking at 0 0.02 eight ish uh, behind the edge thickness at the very tip up here where it's a little bit thicker right behind the edge you are looking at 0 0.054 ish um handles on this now this is one of those weird knives where the handles as a showcase the whole knife is a showcase so you are looking at a 4.75 inch handle that's done in titanium zirconium timascus with a frame lock and a cracked ice zirconium pocket clip and backspacer that have been dlc coated it does run on ikbs and it is insanely smooth there is no friction on that guys so uh last spec on this let's go ahead and get the weight they have it listed as 5.6 ounces but there's a chance, you know, that these these vary. These are small batch knives that were done incredibly intense. So in grams, let's go ahead and get that out of the way for those of you who don't do freedom units. 168 grams. And in ounces, like I said, they have it listed as 5.6 ounces. I figure it's going to weigh just over five and a half. Five and seven eighths. This is not a light knife. 
Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Do that, guys. I only bring the scale out and then leave the knife there because I think it looks cool when it does the transition. Guys, I cannot tell you how much. I mean, just holding this knife, I have goosebumps. This knife is, oh, God. It's like, seriously, I have goosebumps. This knife is probably one of the most incredibly aesthetically beautiful knives I've ever seen in my life. I've been to a lot of knife shows and I've seen a lot of knives and this thing is just, just incredible. Look at that, even down in the pocket, look at that milling, the tooling that's done in there to just have that pattern, the cracked ice on a pocket clip. Now I'm not gonna tell you how it cuts. I'm not gonna tell you it carries because there is no chance I am putting this knife in my pocket. Look at that blade. That whole blade shape, everything about it, all those, all of those little facets, it's done in a full polish. Like I said, you guys can see how it fingerprints. It's done in a full polish. If I had some latex clothes, I'd be wearing them. It's done in a full polish with a satin, and then the fuller with the speed holes is fully polished. That is fully polished. The entire thing is done two-tone, satin and polished. Now, this knife may not look like this when I get done sharpening. That There always is uh, abrasives and stuff to get. That's why I did this before. Timascus, that Timascus bolster, beautiful. I love the fact that they went to all the trouble on this. Then this is checkered zirconium here, and Timascus again on that front bolster. This thing is just insanely beautiful and the fact that i have gotten it in and i'm able to do this video i'm just i'm i'm just over the moon the fact that this is here i've never gotten a, a, a actual todd bag on the channel and I, I i can't tell you like i've heard people talk about it i hear jim skelton talk about it i've seen pictures they just never do it justice once you have one of these in your hands the the man is the man is is just insanely talented and the fact is it's even the little details it's even got the cracked ice down on the inside like he could have easily left that the way it is and not done cracked ice on the inside of that backspacer he could have left that you know and polished it out no satin polish tooling Timascus, satin, and polish. I can honestly say I don't think I've had a knife in on the channel that I found as beautiful as this knife. So, don't know about cutting, don't know about any of these things. Now, I will tell you, I could never own one of these. It is out of my ballpark of knives. This is even more expensive than my Norseman, which is my favorite knife. Even, I mean, it's a very similar blade shape and everything. This knife pales in comparison in price to this one. These knives, this exact knife, this specific knife, I found it. I took about an hour to look it up so I could provide you guys with the actual price for this. This knife was $2,450 at purchase. Now, I have no idea what it's worth on the secondary market because like I said, I believe that this might be a one of a kind. But... There you go. Kim, thank you very much for sending this in for sharpening. The fact you're trusting me with it is amazing. I, I'm, I'm happy that my sharpening service is at a caliber where I do. I did a Todd Fisher, a $4,000 Todd Fisher yesterday. I actually like this more than the Fishers. This is beautiful. Todd, if you get the chance to see this, my God, sir, this is perfection. So I could stand here all day and just tell you about everything I love about this knife, but we don't have that kind of time. So let's go ahead and turn this around and do some final thoughts. Guys, was that thing incredible or what? Like you can't, I, you just can't capture it. You cannot capture how attractive, how gorgeous, how beautiful this knife is. And what you're not feeling is how it feels in your hand, guys. Todd Begg. Well, I try not to curse in my videos, but Todd Begg knows what the fuck he's doing. So, guys, that's it on this one. If you don't see me before Christmas, you probably will. Actually, this will probably go up after Christmas, to tell you the truth. So, if you guys if you guys like the videos, please give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. 
it makes it easier for me to figure out what content you guys do and don't like, and it allows me to make changes. I can't change it if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as what I did, share channels with people that you think would enjoy them. Uh, it gets you a broader audience base. But if you do want to support the channel financially, there's a ton of ways. I have merchandise store down below where I have a coupon code. It's on Ember Shirt Co. and my merch store. Coupon code saves you 10% at checkout. It's Crazy Sharp, all in word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp. I have the memberships down below that get you early access to videos, sharpening tutorials, and premium content that only the members get to see. Um, and it's on a monthly basis. And the final way is I have a ton of affiliate links down below. Anything you click on and then purchase something, even if it's not the item you clicked on, I get credit for it. Amazon pays me. It doesn't cost you anything. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I hope you had a happy New Year and Christmas. And I will see you in the next video.